It is time for a wealth tax in America. I've heard that there are some billionaires who don't support this plan. The vilification of billionaires makes no sense to me. It's bull. CBC's Brian Schwartz uh, was the first to break that story. He joins us now back from uh, HQ. Uh, I guess a similar theme that, uh, that we've heard from her for a while, but, but much more focused and targeted this ad. Yeah, I mean, clearly this is the latest salvo in the battle with Wall Street and big business leaders, particularly uh, with Leon Cooperman. Uh, we just got a response from him. him. He, I just got off the phone with Leon uh, about a few minutes before he just came on your air, and he called her a disgrace. And went through a variety of things uh, with profanities and everything else you can read on CNBC.com. But, you know, look, this ad's going to be airing tomorrow in New York and in Washington markets. And it's the target audience clearly is, is Wall Street and business executives who have criticized Elizabeth Warren's uh, wealth tax plan. That's what she leads with in that spot. And Mr. Cooperman is a target of it, uh, Lloyd Blankfein, and a number of others. And this really is, this battle is kind of ratcheting up here between both Elizabeth Warren and uh, wealthy business leaders, Mr. Kuhlman being one of them at this point. Brian, I watched the ad briefly in our last commercial uh, break, and uh, as it relates to Mr. Cooperman, uh, to, to Lee, it does say he was charged by the SEC. Yeah. Uh, of course, we should point out that he settled that's without having to admit any wrongdoing. That's so correct. I think that's an important thing to, to note. But th th there's another point here, and he was on our show last week. Uh, he's been with, on with Scott. He talks to you and, and responds. And I don't mean this to focus particularly on, on Lee, because, sure. of course, also I've interviewed Jamie Dimon yep. and endless comments that we get on this. One wonders whether the billionaires should just be quiet from now and whether it just keeps feeding the story. Well, that's right. I mean, these comments just continue to play right in her hands. I've been talking to you guys about this for a while. Every time they respond, this gives her either a free ad on Twitter or one of these ads that go on TV. And, you know, the people just start catching on to it. Uh, you know, and, and this has been giving her brand of the anti-Wall Street a boost, these types of responses from business leaders around the country. And uh, you're right. It's, it's just feeding into this narrative. And maybe it is best for them maybe to not say so much about Elizabeth Warren. Well, Mike Bloomberg is not keeping quiet. Instead, he's saying, hey, maybe I should do something about this and throw my hat in the ring. Right. And the, so, and the ad's coming right as he's considering running yeah. for president, leaning toward that at this right. point.